In digital marketing, every campaign that you have will have risks of things that could potentially go wrong. So therefore, a way of managing those risks is to actually document them and think about them as the project uh, progresses or review them as things uh, develop. So there are usually five columns in the risk management table. The first is got the name of the risk. The second is the impact that that risk would have. The a third would be the probability of that risk to occur. And the fourth column would be the assessment of the risk. So you could quantify, multiply the severity of the risk by the probability of that risk to occur. So for example, five times five is 25, so it's a very high risk uh, activity. And then see how you as an organization would potentially manage that particular risk. By allocating those risks assessments at your own color schemes, red, yellow, and green, you're able to see how those particular risks could uh, also visually impact on your organization or the activity that you have. So for example, if you have a risk table that is full of red color and you don't want to have too many risks in your project, you might consider a project not worthy doing. On the other hand, a low risk project, something that has just a green uh, aspect, you would be able to uh, carry on with and obviously reuse in the future. The beauty of a risk management table is that you would undertake it at the beginning of the project, during the project, whenever you are having the regular meetings, and as the last point of the project completion. And you would reuse those uh, lists of risks for any future campaigns that you would have. And therefore, you're continuously learning from uh, your activities because digital marketing is a continuously learning process. In terms of how we use risk management for our campaigns, I think it's fair to say that throughout the production of content and you know the uploading of activity onto social media and the the use of um, of, of, of the likes of Twitter it's all you know, pre-qualified there is you know uh, there, there are you know, a lot of trust in the people who are producing the content and even more trust in the people who are making these different pieces of content live across your strategy and that is absolutely essential to get that right there are you know famous examples of, of how uh, campaigns Campaigns and clients have got it really wrong in terms of the content and uh, that they've put out, and therefore, you know, the the risk uh, management um, process hasn't been adhered to properly. Sometimes, uh, when you know your competitor, uh, you can be very aggressive, okay, and try to um, highlight a weakness. So, okay, it's 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 very thin ice, you know. You you have to be very careful. And in the same time, in your own media channels, in your co in your own content, okay, if you're trying to do the same, people, you know, they can interact with you and it can change things around. So risk management are something, it's a standard procedure uh, when we are, you know, deciding to upload something uh, or not. It's something like a checklist.